got to get the shot, right? Not very deep boys, maybe like an inch or two, probably two. This evening we are out at Utah Lake. We are at Pelican Bay Marina over on the, the Saratoga side, the west side of Utah Lake. It's a little chilly out. It's like uh, mid to high 20s, I think. We have approximately two inches on the ice, so not a ton of ice. We're staying on the docks today. We're not gonna venture out onto this sketchy, sketchy ice. There's actually open water 30 yards that way so but oftentimes you can catch white bass yellow perch um, so just your regular panfish out of this marina and sometimes when the school's moving through it can be really really good fishing so i'm going to give it a shot usually the water's not super deep we've been in a drought much as the wet rest of the west of the country so we're going to give it a shot like i said uh, just using a little tungsten jig here tipped with a worm usually use like a little mealworm or a wax worm but today we got some of both but we'll start off with this little guy here one thing to note the bite is super super light with these fish so this is just an ugly stick it's a dock runner um, it's not super fast tipped so I have to watch this one super closely my other rod is a little bit better for the pan fish so we'll just get that one wet, see what happens with it. This is my other rod. This is the one I really like. It's a Luz Mock Smash. And as you can tell, the tip, just super, super sensitive, which is exactly what I want uh, to catch this light bite on these smaller fish. And just as I thought, we're maybe in 18 inches, two feet of water at most. We're all set up on our bucket. Just do a little jigging. I do know that guys on the other side of the lake over in the Provo Marina have been really hammering down on, on these fish. Sorry, I thought I had a bite there. They're even catching uh, some pike on that side. So pretty cool. We may have to head over there one of these days soon. I'm surprised, I'm lone soldier out here. Usually this side of the lake in the evenings is pretty busy. People getting off work or just kids coming out here to fish. My guess it's slow because the ice is so thin. That's a good one. That's a good one for over here. Check that guy out. First fish of the trip. Great success. Little uh little yellow perch there. It's actually a pretty good size for out here, so he's gonna go in the bucket. my seat the the funny thing about out here is since it's so oh thought I had a bite there the funny thing about it being so shallow is you don't even have to reel up you just pull and it comes right out of the water so I'm getting a nibble on this one let me just uh, reintroduce the bait. That's how this other one hit over here pretty quick.
right as I turned the camera off, I started getting a bite, man. That's what we call cod timing. This is the guilty party. Another super light bite, but we get another one added to the bucket. Ooh, that's a stud. That's a stud right there for here. Stud for here. I will preface it by saying that. Good fish. Oh, I pulled it right out of his mouth. We got uh, four pretty identical perch. I figured they were bigger than normal, but maybe, uh, maybe they're just doing better this year than they were previous years. They seem pretty healthy. Should be good little eaters. Give it another 5-10 minutes or so and then we'll head out. It's starting to get cold, cold, cold. I left my gloves at the house so my hands are, are freezing. Sorry, I know I did that little panning shot earlier. You guys saw just how beautiful it was out here. This is super close to my house so it's easy to make the trip and come fish but just in general, Utah is amazingly beautiful. A lot of you probably don't know, I grew up in Texas my whole life. I've only been in Utah for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. If you ever have the opportunity to go and live somewhere new and fresh, I highly suggest it. It's scary. Um, it's a change, obviously it's new, but it's been so worth it. 10 out of 10 would recommend mixing it up, trying something new, even if it's just temporary. Don't make it your permanent residence. Go abroad, do something fun, especially when you're young. You know, I did this later in life with my family. So don't let anybody ever tell you you're too old to do something. You can totally do it, make it happen. Uh, just have a good support system. You can do anything. I'm trying to catch one more, but I'm about to wrap it up. I'm freezing. We're gonna call her a night. Take these guys home, fillet them up. Might even fry them, who knows.